All right. So we have 6.2, number 13. And the instructions say, find the volume of the solid with the given base and cross-section. And so for number 13, they say the base is the region enclosed by y equals x squared and y equals 3. The cross-sections are squares perpendicular to the y-axis. Okay, so we start with the base. The base is enclosed by y equals x squared and y equals 3. So if we draw that, we have this base, and it looks, here's your y equals x squared, and let's say this is 1, 2, 3. So here's y equals 3. Okay, and this, we'll just pretend this is a symmetric, perfectly beautiful symmetric y equals x squared. So y equals x squared. So we'll label it. And this right here is y equals 3. And you know, this extends forever. It's a horizontal line. But this is where it's enclosing, right? And so we know this point right here is um, where y equals 3. And so this must mean that this is the square root of 3. And this right here is the negative square root of 3. And so this is, we can label this as 3. Okay? So then now what we know is that the, the cross sections are squares perpendicular to the y axis. So if we draw in um, a representative cross section, we can come across here perpendicular. See, there's we make a right angle. So it's perpendicular to the y-axis. So this is what the square is sitting on. Okay, so this would be a top view. Right, so these squares, you know, you're going to have a little square here. Right, so it, it comes up and then it gets a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger square. Okay. So right here would be your biggest square of 3 by 3. But here, this square right here goes, has a length of, starts at x and goes to negative x, right? So this length or this height, um, half of it is this distance right here of x. So if one half the side of your square is equal to x, then the side of your cross-sectional square is equal to 2x. Okay? Um, so now it's going to come up and out of the paper. And so your delta volume is going to equal the area of the square, which is side squared, times the thickness. And if you notice, this thickness right here of this cross-sectional area is a very small portion of the um, of the y interval of the y axis. So we call this delta y. Okay. So now we have delta v or the small volume is equal to side squared times delta y. Now notice that side squared is going to be 2x squared delta y, which is equal to 4x squared delta y. But delta y tells us that eventually when we add up all these delta v's by integrating, we're going to be integrating with respect to y. So this y, this right here, tells us we need x squared in terms of y. But remember, this is the line that each, that is, dis, that is describing the distance um, of each of these um, cross-sectional areas. So to get to this line is x, and that x corresponds with y equals x squared. So x squared is equal to y. So here we say this is equal to 4 times y times delta x. And that's what our small volume is. So then now, since we know what one of those cross-sectional volumes is, we're going to add up all those cross-sectional volumes. So bring the 4 on the outside, and we have y dy. And then we need to, ooh, let me make that into a y, because see, 
delta y, delta y. We're not doing math magic here, okay? Still delta y. All right, so then we come here. This area, y spans from y equals 0 all the way up to y equals 3. So we're going to integrate from 0 to 3. And now we just have um, a, uh, we can use the power rules for integration. And so that's equal to 4 times y squared divided by 2 evaluated from 0 to 3. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 twice, and we have 2y squared evaluated from 0 to 3, which is equal to 2 times 3 squared minus 2 times 0 squared, which is equal to 2 times 9 equals 18. Voila, the volume whose base is bounded by x squared and y equals 3 um, with cross-sectional areas perpendicular to the y-axis, which are squares, is equal to 18.